Well, George, the gun bill, S-31, would expand criminal background checks. Hundreds of people, both for the gun bill and against it, packed the State House tonight for the hearing on this issue. People wearing orange came out in force against the gun bill, while the people in green were out to support it. Tuesday night, lawmakers heard from many of them. We have the safest gun state in the country with the most liberal gun laws. And I feel very safe that I can go click, click in the night when a burglar wants to enter my house. Often that's the sound of a 12 gauge, and often that's enough deterrent to avoid violence. Opponents say it's unnecessary because of Vermont's high rate of gun ownership and its low rate of violence. Those for it say they fear the safety of kids would be compromised. I provide part time daycare for my two young grandchildren and I support S31 because I want my grandchildren and all Vermont children to grow and thrive in an environment that is as safe as possible, even safer than it is now. The bill would make it a state crime for a violent felon to have a gun. Vermont, which are seen as a public safety threat, would have their names included in the National Background Check database. Those for it think this bill is the best solution, but others disagree. I have come to the conclusion that the gun owners who are against this bill must have something to hide. Please keep me just a little bit safer and pass this bill. And I have nothing to hide, by the way. This bill proposes nothing whatever that will make the safest state in the nation any safer. Members of rifle and pistol clubs say they abide by the rules and this will negatively impact them. We all know that criminals do not obey laws. They will not comply with background checks. S31 will only affect your honest Vermont constituents. But others say they are concerned about gun violence and see safety as a priority. The proposed legislation makes sense to me as a parent, a grandparent, and longtime resident in Vermont. I do not want anyone in Vermont threatened by acts of gun violence. Now, the hearing in the House chambers was so packed that they had to have an overflow room. Live in the newsroom, Robin Esbrook, WPTZ News Channel 5.